Thank you, thank you. This is Glenn Davis from Lenexa, Kansas, and I'm going to try and do three things today. Um, first, I'm going to uh, try and play the solo from the Golden Earring uh, Twilight Zone song, the extended version. And I'll probably make a few mistakes in that because it's so long. And then secondly, what I'm going to do, after I do that, I'm going to fit in a short section. I'm going to tell some math jokes for dummies. And I'm sure you're all glad to hear that. And I just want to point out that um, I'm calling it math jokes for dummies, but I'm not using that word to uh, denigrate the intelligence of any of my viewers out there. But um, just for my viewers, I'll point out the word denigrate means to put down. Okay, so, and then after those jokes, I'm going to give a, a lesson on how to play the solo where I'll be sharing a lot of tips and things that'll maybe make it a little easier to play. So, um, let's get started on the solo now. Okay, that's it. Hey, thank you. Thank you for your thank you for your warm applause. I certainly appreciate that. And oh, my chair disappeared. Where'd my chair go? Oh, that's right. This is stand-up comedy. Okay, let's get started on this. I'm going to tell you some jokes. Uh, these are math jokes for dummies. And I want to tell you, these are some of the most hilarious math jokes you will ever hear. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, my math jokes are good. Now, let's get right into it. The other day, I looked in my backyard, and my dog was out there, and I saw her. She was playing with the square root of minus one. And I said to myself, huh, now isn't that cute? My dog has an imaginary little friend. Come on, that joke's unreal. Okay, parallel lines. They have so much in common. It's a shame they'll never meet. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius Strip? To get to the same side. All right, let me take it to a different level. Did you hear about the man, uh, the 100-pound man with 50-pound balls? He was half nuts. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're dialed in. 
But I got a couple more based purely on math. You know what's odd about arithmetic? Every other number! I'm deathly afraid of negative numbers. I'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Alright, I should have known. I got advice on telling these jokes for an ob from an obtuse triangle. And you all know that an obtuse triangle is never right. Alright, let's get down the lower road again. Uh, there was this guy named Bob. This is a math problem for you to think, think about. Bob is 72 years old, and he has a 26-year-old beautiful girlfriend. Now the question is, how much money is Bob worth? Alright. Now we're dialed in. I went to a tavern Tuesday night. I go there every Tuesday night because they have a Tuesday night special. I can't believe the deal they give. I pay double the price for my first drink, and after that, the second drink is free. <laughs> Heck of a deal. And they do it all night long if you want to. Buy one for double, get the second one free. It's a, it's a great deal. And while I was in that tavern, I walked by these two girls, and I think they thought I was sexy. And uh, how I know this is, when I was walking by, I heard one of the girls overheard her say, What an ass! Okay, I got a golf story for you. I was lamenting to my wife about how I just don't get any exercise anymore. And she says, Well, why don't you play golf again? You play golf. And I said, Honey, you know, I really don't have anybody to play with. And she goes, Well, how about Clyde? Clyde's your friend, and he still plays golf. And I said, honey, how would you like to play someone who's always cheating on his score? And she says, well, I wouldn't like that. And I said, well, Clyde doesn't like it either. I was uh, on a picnic with my son a long time ago. And my, you know, he was a little guy at the time. And we went to the picnic out in the country, and we're talking about everything. And, and out of a clear blue sky, he says, Daddy, how can you tell when somebody's going crazy? And I said, well, son, it's, it's like this. Look, look up on that hill. You see those two cows? Now, if it was a crazy person, he might see four cows. And my son said, Daddy, there's only one cow up there. Okay, I got some fan mail here on my, uh, on my phone. I'll read you one of the questions. It just came through while I'm talking here. And it's from a, a fan of mine named Tom. And he, he says, The reason you can't tell math jokes is because you were a straight F student. And he says, That's probably the reason you shouldn't be trying to do these things. And well, Tom, my answer to you is, I might have been a straight F student, but I was a high F student, and I thought I could pull it off. And then I have one more from uh, Dan here. Um, Dan, Dan giving me some advice. He says, Dear Pick and Blues Glenn Davis. That, that's my name, Pick and Blues Glenn Davis. And uh, he says, I think you should change your YouTube name and maybe put the word knucklehead in it someplace. Uh, Dan, I don't, I don't understand what you're trying to say. But um, let's move on. we got to get to the um, solo. I'm going to explain and give a lesson on how to do that now. So. Okay, thank you. I enjoyed doing that. Now we'll go over the solo lesson. But before we do, one more thing I wanted to tell you. When I was just a, a little kid growing up in the neighborhood at a young age, I started playing the neighborhood game, which was spin the bottle. And of course, if uh, a girl spun a bottle and it landed on you, you uh, she'd have to kiss you. And if she didn't want to do that, then she'd have to pay you a quarter. Well, by the time I was um, 16 years old, I already owned my own house. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Let's get started. The first thing I do is, um, you know, the song starts out in an F sharp uh, minor to an E minor, and they go into. And I, I assume you already know how to play this 
B. That part of it, so I'll, that's all we'll do there. But what I play while the um, loop pedal is doing is, and the loop pedal just does that, it never changes. The first thing I hit is, you know, a couple of the B minor chords. Then I start on the G string on the ninth fret and stretch it and hit the, the B and E string on the seventh. And then I go down and play along with the loop pedal for a couple times. And then I hit this harmonic here, He's starting with the open D string and going to the fourth and fifth fret. Which I think blends pretty good with what the loop pedal's doing. And I go back to the same riff again. And then of course it goes to a, the loop pedal's playing the same, but it sounds like an E minor. So it's an open E. And then I go to an F sharp. And back to the original riff. And then into the main solo where it starts on the seventh fret. Hammers to the ninth on the A string and then to the D. So it's. And then the next part is kind of tricky to play, you know, to get it as fast as they're doing it in the song. It starts out with a hammer from the seventh to ninth again. And then. Same thing, one string down further. And then, starting on this uh, G string. So real slow, it's. In order to do it fast, I, I normally do do the first one is. But the second one, by the time I go into that next string, I'm really holding down two strings at the same time, so it's... That's how you can get it a little faster. Now it starts up again, and it starts the same way. Oh, excuse me, it goes... And this time it goes... So it actually hits this note four times, twice slow and then uh, twice real quick. So together, kind of slow it goes. And then. Okay, now that's tricky and it's, it's really hard to play really fast. So anyway, that's why I spent some time showing you that one. Then after that it starts out, you hammer the D string from the 7th to 9th again. Then twice here on the G. Stretch this one and I count 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. That's what I do there. Then I slide up on the G string to the 11th fret and then hit the B string twice and go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what I'm doing here, um, he does a couple things here. At some points in the song, he, he does this. When he stretches on the 12th fret, it's like that. So another time he'll go and hit this E again. So it's either or. 
So keep in mind that difference. You'll see it coming. So on that one we went two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's one, two, three, and and then the open string. And then it goes into this. And here might be the hardest part of the song coming up. It's, um, you gotta think of one, two, one, two, it's like one, two, three, four, whoops, excuse me. I count it as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's on those notes. And then it goes right into uh, going up the minor pentatonic scale. It's I count as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So it's back to the B. So them two together sound something like this. And that's where we are. Then it continues. I'd say it's about 37 notes all together in this little section. Right after the, it goes. A flatted fifth. So that section after the, what was. Okay, so here it is all together. One more time. And that's what's being played there. The next section goes back where it's more melodic um, to play, and so it's a lot easier to pick up what he's doing. It's after the one, two, three, it's one. So you hit that seven times on the B after sliding up on a G. Back to the G, to the B. And then we go into this. And then we go into the double strings here, where we're the 12th and the 10th frets with the last first two strings or whatever. And then down to the 10th and the 9th. And then I always play it up here. Same notes, but just up on the G and the B string. Bar these two on a 12th fret. Go up to this fret, 14th fret. And then it's... So you can hear that one. 12th fret to the 15th fret. To the 17th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret, uh, 17th fret, and then up there on the B, and with a B note. Well, that's all there is to the solo. I uh, 
Hope you can pick it up from there. It does take a lot of practice to get that very first. And this one's not hard, but it takes a long time. It's not, I say it's not hard, it's just so many notes, so it takes a while to build up the muscle memory. But if you're going to try and learn this solo, it, you know, it's nice to know that, but it does take a lot of work. Well, I hope this video helps someone, and you guys all have a great day.